Hi guys, it's me Kiana and welcome back to my channel. As you can see from the title of this video, we are going to be doing my April TBR. I cannot believe it's freaking April. This is my last month and then I finish off my sophomore year in high school. I mean high school, college. Like I cannot believe that. Then I have my three months of summer vacation, which is going to be filled with nothing but driving school, reading, and trying to find a job because a girl needs more money to support her book habits. But anyways, I have about one, two, three, four, five books I definitely want to get to this month. I'm going to be finishing off a trilogy, finishing off a duology, starting the trill, and then starting two trilogies, and then hopefully finishing out a series. So let's go ahead and get started with this video. As you may have saw in my wrap up and ending, I did say I had started to read um, A Court of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J. Mass. I'm currently on chapter six as I record this on April... I mean, April, March, like, 29th, I want to say, like, yeah. So, the first book after I finish A Court of Thorns and Roses I want to pick up is The Selection by Kira Cass. This is book one in the Selection Trilogy, and this is basically The Bachelorette. Like, The Bachelor. Um, for 25 girls, The Selection is a chance of a lifetime. The opportunity to be swept up in the world of glittering gowns and priceless jewels, to live in a palace and compete for the heart of gorgeous Prince Maxon. But for America's singer, being selected as a nightmare means turning her back on her secret love with Aspen, who was a cast below her and leaving her home to enter a f fierce competition for a crown she doesn't want. When America meets Prince Maxon, gradually she begins to realize that her life she's always dreamed of may not compare to a future she ever imagined. I read the, this book and the second book, the second book, which is The Elite, about two, three years ago, and I absolutely loved them. They're trashy books, so you can like flip through them. They're, this book is about, let's see, 327 books. I mean 377 pages it's not that long it's very interesting you can get swept up into it very quickly so this is the one book that I am starting another trilogy to finish a duology I am picking up the last life of Prince Alistair which is book two in the Prosper Reading duology and I read the dreadful tales of Prosper Reading right there back in July and I absolutely love this and I am beyond happy I am actually I actually got my hands on this book the last life of prince alistair let's read it 300 years ago fate bounded prosper reading and prince alistair of the third realm together now the human boy and the fiend heir to the demon kingdom must push, to push aside a century-old blood feud to save everything they love alistair will guide prosper through the demon realm under one condition prosper must enter into a contract with the malefactor residing in him promising eternal servitude in the afterlife will prosper's sister in the clutches of the evil queen pyra prosper has no choice but to agree but when they arrive in Alistair's delicious demonic home, the realm is almost an alien to Alistair as it is to Prosper. The lowest fiends have dethroned the ruling malefactors, while an unfathomable force called the Void is swift, consuming the realm. The desperate fiends cling to the one person who said she could stop it, Pyra. As Prosper embarks on a Perseus rescue mission to the Tower of No Return, he can't help but feel for the demons losing their home. Even Alistair, who lives by a set of rules that have vanished in a new world. When the fates of humans and demons at odds, the battle lines are drawn long ago. Honor ready and proved that humans and demons can never be friends. But is Prosper the same as Honor? And is Alastair the same demon who was betrayed by the one human he cared for? And then, you know, you got the gorgeous ass and papers. In Prosper writing, it's his family. But I guess in here, this is Alistair's family. And I just absolutely love it. I love this freaking book. Like just so gorgeous and I mean yeah can't go wrong with green books the third book I plan on reading is to finish a trilogy and that is the serpent shadow book three in the Kane Chronicles trilogy they finally like are gonna face Aphasis which is like the pure evil person and I'm beyond ready to read this book and to end out this trilogy I then pick up, I'm then going to pick up A Darker Shade of Magic by V.E. Schwab. I read this in August, but I wasn't fully interested into it. Now I own the second and the third book, so I can move on with this trilogy. This is the exclusive collector's edition. You got the little tassels. This is black. You got fan art on the inside, and it says Asteras right here. A Darker Shade of Magic is this world that there is four Londons. Red London, White London, Grey London, and Black London. 
And so many years ago, all four Londons were connected. You could walk through them freely. But then Black London got consumed with magic and they ended up bearing the doors to everything. And only certain people can travel to each London, but except Black London because it is, you know, crossed off. They got too powerful. They wanted, they got too hungry. And it's a guy named Cal. He's, it's called, they're called an Antares, which, you know, magically are rare. And you know they have the ability to travel between parallel londons and act as ambassadors and messengers between londons yeah i remember when i first read this i was like really really interested in it i was like upset when i had to put it down but hopefully i can be more invested in it so i can want to continue on with the second and the third book because i do own them like right there and i'll be pissed if i wasted money and like never picked up the books but anyways and then the fifth and final book oh, this freaking big bad boy i plan on reading kingdom of ash by sarah j mass and call me crazy call me crazy but i think i can read like half of this this month and then finish off in like may or something because this book is almost a thousand pages right like Nine hundred and eighty pages. It's twenty pages away from being a uh, thousand pages. This is the exclusive books a million if you live in America's um edition. I got like the fan art right there and right here, and it's like has her signature. I think. Yep. Yeah. But I'm beyond excited to read. At least start this book. But those are the books I plan on reading in April. Comment down below if you would like to do buddy reads with me. I will be leaving here two videos. Honestly, I feel you guys should go check out. Don't forget, I post Mondays and Thursdays. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click that little bell so you know when I post. And I'll be seeing you guys soon with my book haul. Bye, guys.